rationale behind this project is the need for renewable energy. Over the years, people use charcoal, we use um, fuel, we use kerosene as a source of fuel for cooking as modern industrial activity. We are looking for a fuel that is uh, fuel that is more environmental friendly than we ventured into biogas production. And then we decided to use a lumen fluid and uh, intestinal cow dung. So, like in this stand, we have three conical flags. In this very one, we have three conical flags. Here we have three conical flags. In a total of nine conical flags. Now, there are some variables that are constant and some that vibes. Now, in this first stand, the first conical flags, we want to know the effects of this on trace elements. So, we're varying the, the, the mass of the zinc sulfates. Here we made it 0 0.2 grams. And in this second conical flux, the mass of the zinc sulfate is 0 0.05 grams. While in the third one, we made the mass of the zinc sulfate to 0 0.8 grams. Now in the second stand, uh, but then remember that the mass of the quantity of uh, human fluid is constant, 100 mil in all in the nine conical flux. And also, okay, in this second stand, we were trying to vary the mass of sawdust. In this first time, the mass of sawdust, by, uh, the mass of the sawdust is constant too, making it 150 grams. But in the second stand, the mass of sawdust dust is varied, keeping um, least and constant. So in the first conical flux here, we we'll have the mass of sawdust being 100 gram. The second one, the mass of sawdust is 150 gram, and then the third. The mass of sawdust is 200 grams. Remember, in the nine conical flags, the quantity of lumen fluid is uh, constant, 100 mL. Now, in the third, in the third, uh, um, the third stand, the first conical flags were trying to change you know, the effect of pH on biogas generation. So, in the first stand, in the third stand, uh, the first conical flag there is made the pH to be slightly. Uh, Acidic, making the pH to be 5.0, while the pH of the second uh, conical flux is uh, 7.0 neutral, and then the last but not the least, making it slightly alkaline, to, for the pH to be 9.0. Now, the 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 content of the trough is uh, acidified water, while the content of the direct is uh, normal water. Now, to know the volume of gas produced, now this drip holes the gas passes through these drip holes moves this way and then this drip holes this burette is submerged inside this uh, trough containing acidified water and then the drip holes passes immersed in the trough passes into the uh, burette now if the gas passes through here the volume of water displaced here in the burette is equal to the mass uh, the volume of gas produced now, as you can see, we we'll try to make this airtight to avoid uh, uh, interference with air bubbles, so that we'll be able to measure. See the end; the end is airtight. There's no bubble. The same thing here, so that we'll be able to know the quantity of gas produced. And then at the end, look here. Also, we we'll have a stopper. We we'll have a controller, so that if actually we want to test the gas, the flammability of the gas, we can actually do that. So, uh, this very experiment has two justifications. One, to produce a, to produce a fuel that is renewable, environmental friendly, and also a way of making sawdust, um, a way of making sawdust economically important, because if sawdust is not uh, doesn't decompose easily like every other uh, plant materials. So if you go to some mill where they heap sawdust, it's just uh, there for years without being acted or taken away. So in this manner, 
try to know a way of disposing this and making it environmental friendly by trying to like what we are just running a mixed substrate for producing biogas and then the gas we are expecting is methane gas if this will get a positive result from this then we will now start thinking of industrial making this in a large scale people have done this experiment before yes we know but then we, that's why we are varying some of our variables from theirs and then at the end we can compare and see our weak points and our success thank you very much thank you